All right, guys, you're Guitar Sage, and this is part two of Haven't Met You Met by Michael Buble. If you're looking at this video and you haven't watched number one, you might be a little lost because we're more than halfway through the song. So go watch number one first and come back. I'm joking. That's, that should have edited there. Um, okay, so you've watched number one and you're back. And here we are. We're working on the pre-chorus now. We've done the key change. Or have we? I forget. We were just in video one. So here we go. I'll do that over again. So after the bridge, we have a key change. And it goes G major 7, A, D. G major 7, A, B minor, E minor 7, F sharp minor 7, B minor, A minor. Now, pre-chorus, real easy. E minor 7, D slash F sharp. Remember when we have a slash chord, the first chord, the first part of the chord is the actual chord that you play, slash whatever it is, in this case F sharp, that means it's a bass note. So um, I'm bringing my thumb around to play that F sharp, E, F, F sharp, ignoring that we have a capo on, E, F, F sharp, so. E minor 7 again. A. E minor 7. D slash F sharp. G. Two measures of A, but the last measure diamonded. A diamond is when you just hit the chord and you hold it out for the whole measure, in this case, four beats. Okay? Okay. We just went over the chorus before, so let's talk about the end of the song. Which is, um, let's see, it's basically what we did in the beginning, except we're in a different key here. So now this is really cool too, and I'm going to go back and talk about a few things um, that's going to help you throughout the song here. But if you notice throughout this song, there's one note, at least during the intro and the verse, that seems to s suspend itself through the whole verse and that sort of thing. So it does it in the, in the end of the song here too. Um, and there's a couple different ways we can play this. I'm going to give you the straight up chords first as if we were a guitar player that didn't know anything. Uh, and then I'm going to tell you it as if we know a little something. So the end here is going to go uh, G, a D. G major 7. E minor 7. D minor. So let's talk about this for a minute. This note right here is repeated often. It's repeated in the intro and it's repeated at the end here, but we're going to go into the end part and talk about that first. So um, if we just played this D, you got that guy in there, and you play this G major 7, that note's still in there. You could play this E minor 7, which looks like that, right? Second finger, second fret, the fifth string and bring your pinky down here and play that same note. And then when you play your B minor, it's in there and it changes on the A. So that's the only time it changes, so it's like. All right, so I'm, I'm, obviously I'm playing that kind of silly there so you can hear that note being played in there, right? So. Let's go back to the intro of the song. Let's talk about that for a minute and talk about something else that you can do here. So um, you'll notice in the intro and the verse of this tune, also this open note stays open just like it did for the part that we just did uh, where it was this note. Um, in this case here, it'll be the open E. So we got C, F major 7. D minor 7, but we said we could lift that finger up, right? So we can have... 
A minor. So it changes on the G, but all the other ones have that note in it, so it sounds something like this. Now, now that you guys got all that bit, I'm going to play through it, not through the whole song, we won't have time for that, but um, I'm just going to play through a bit here so you can hear it all together here. And watch my hands and you'll know the chords now. Okay, so intro. So we got that whole bit there. I'll take it from the chorus, or I'll take it from the end of the chorus into the bridge here. I won't go through that whole bit again. So, um, let's see. Good time for my screen to go out. Good. This is great. Nice. Hang in there. Um, Okay, you get it? So, there are the chords. Um, don't be scared of this tune, kids. It's calling you. Um, it's a great fun tune. And it, again, if you couldn't find the answers to your questions regarding this tune on here, go to yourguitarstage.com, get the ebook. It'll help out a ton, um, along with being privy to a bunch of other charts and information there that's going to help you with these tunes. Yeah. All right. All right, kids, go practice. See ya.